Now, all these wedding day pranks are men trying to tell us they hate the woman they're married. But this one is next level. Now, we know that the, the ones that have gone viral where not, not only are men smashing cake in their face, but they're, they're like very violent about it. Like, if they'll do this to you in front of people just to get a joke, like the, the, the level of violence that these men smash the cake so then you have like the help me, the guys holding the help me signs, the help me phones, help me paint. Do you know how much effort that takes? And then there's this thing, you remember? Dude, so many men apparently pretend like they're gonna jump in the pool and then they don't. So then she ruins her dress, her makeup, her hair, and he doesn't. <laughs> All just the humiliator. But this one that I just saw um, on Reddit today is like a mixture of like, I hate this woman but I love what she does for me. Remind everyone, especially her, who has the upper hand here. This wedding is actually her funeral. So this one hits something different that I think is really important to pay attention to, and that is uh, purity culture and body count. Any man who is keeping track or cares about your body count uh, is on the, red, on, on, on the red pill pipeline. I mean, Unless he's religious, which that you, that's like, they're like the OG red pills. <laughs> but uh, if they're not religious and they care about body count and purity, that man does not see you as a human being. I need people to understand that. Okay? If they care about your body count, they do not see you as a human being. They don't. Get out. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into this because I actually want to talk about, I mean, I've talked plenty about how much men, how often men will marry men, uh, women that they don't like. Um, and don't even see as human. But I think a lot of men, more than would be really willing to admit, think like this, but I can't believe this one had the audacity, honestly. My husband to be wants everyone to know I'm, okay. So it's exactly what this title says. I've been with a, my fiance for six years. Mm, could be a red flag, depending on your age. Um, never telling people to rush into marriage. Just saying, a lot of men will, you know, trail you along forever right and then marry someone else <laughs> or you know have a help sign and a smash cake at their wedding um but this guy took it even further <laughs> so they've been together for eight years no sorry been engaged for eight months to, uh been been together six years i've been doing most of the wedding planning shocker shocker warning <laughs> doesn't care about your wedding like when women are doing all the planning immediate red flag if he doesn't care like a if he doesn't care red flag if he just doesn't care you do i mean if you're obsessed and and he knows that you actually want to do it all okay but i still find that it's weird because it's not your day it's y'all's day but okay i know that a lot of men have no taste whatsoever and would make it ugly <laughs> have you seen their apartments scary a TV on a mil upside down milk crate um, and pillows that look like that. But okay, okay. Let's say you actually want to do all the work and he knows that you're better at it and it's more important to you. He should still be helping you out. There's a lot of things he can do that don't have anything to do with uh, like decorating or style or any of that crap. There's so much logistics to a wedding. So if a man is not involved in the wedding at all, red flag. Because either A, he just doesn't care. Not excited about this day at all. It's just another Saturday, you know? whoop de doo get married. I'm still getting all the stuff I had before. Now she's tied to me and I get, you know, half her money because half these men don't even work. <laughs> anyway, or best, like that's, that's just one scenario. Doesn't care. But the other one, best case scenario, lazy. Lazy. Let you do it all. Just let you do it all. If, you, if you're doing everything for the wedding, guess what you're going to do when you have kids? Hmm? And that's not even fun to plan. And, you know, weddings aren't even fun to plan, honestly. Ask anybody who'd spent a year planning them. They're like, God, oh, that was the worst year of my life. And I could have bought a home with that. So the fact that she's planning everything, huge red flag. I know plenty of weddings have happened where the woman planned it all and they're happy. There's obviously exceptions to this. How much t free time she has versus him, style, la 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 la, whatever, okay? Don't be like, well, I plan my wedding and it's great. Good, just saying. If he's lazy before you get married, he's gonna be even lazier after. But my fiance 
Let's call him Ryan. Ryan will give his input here and there. So about a month ago, Ryan out of nowhere, just because it's out of nowhere doesn't mean he hasn't been thinking this all along. Out of nowhere said he was talking to some of his coworkers, sure, and thinks that I shouldn't wear a red dress, a uh, white dress. Okay. This could be one of two things, both which are bad. One, he's always thought that and his coworkers thought that, right? Those, that's a coward. That is a man who will not just openly admit he thinks you're a whore, right? He's just like, my friends don't think you should. Okay, so he's probably already thought this. He's just literally just saying, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends, right? Even if that's not the case, if this man is so impressionable, so easily talked into something completely insane by his coworker, don't let him ever go on YouTube. <laughs> don't let him at like, Watch out, because that man's gonna go to the alt-right pipeline on a uh, jet. He's got a one-way ticket and he's never coming back. Uh, so if a man is that easily influenced by other people at work, and by people, I mean men. I promise you no woman at work, unless she's like a pick me and cool girl, would ever be like, oh, she can't wear white. <laughs> so if you don't have a man who already thinks you're like, not pure and like hates you and like already slut shamed you already and just finally said it right before your wedding um then he is a man with no backbone and um is absolutely going to turn into going to get radicalized on the internet so either scenarios bad 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 run away too many red flags right out of the gate i already hate this man break up break up this was totally weird to me. It should be. I hated how women have to write into Reddit with things they already know are true. They're like, is it just me? Or is this crazy? No, it's crazy. Ryan is a very artistic guy, I'm sure. That's even worse. If he's an artistic guy, especially a failed one, then he probably really hates you. Um, so I figured this was more about how the photos would turn out, you know, like something along those lines. <laughs> No, he may be artsy, but doesn't care about those photos. But I'm said I'm wearing white, and you should. You should wear whatever it is you want to wear. I told him this, and I could see that he was annoyed, but he let it go. Two weeks ago, I finally picked and paid for the dress, and this caused a huge argument. Okay, Ryan. Ryan is annoyed. He probably is this passive aggressive guy because his friends are the ones who told her he shouldn't wear a white dress. And then she's like, I'm gonna wear white, and he's like, annoyed, right? But this time, Ryan's like, Arrgh. huge argument. Ryan again, was very annoyed. Asked me to see, to ask to see the dress I picked. But I said no because I wanted to be surprised for the wedding day. Duh! He asked me, at least tell me what color it is. Better not be white, you little skunk ass bird. And when I said white, he threw a fit. No, not fair. God, everything she's already everything she's described about this man it sounds like he is the kingiest of babies. It's only gonna get worse. It doesn't get better. I honestly do not see why there is the, this is a big deal. Almost everyone wears white on their wedding day. Yeah, even I wore white. Not because I had to, but I was like, why not? Why can't I wear white? I am one of the the biggest proudest schlut bags I know, and I'm gonna wear white. Cause I wear what I want and I'm a slob. You will never catch me in white almost any other day. I can't believe this doesn't have a stain, honestly. Um, <laughs> I can't afford to buy white things. So I'm gonna wear white one day, why not? When I asked him what color he thought I'd be wearing, he told me, <laughs> I should wear red, you little hog. <laughs> Again, this is super weird. It is super weird. I asked him why I would wear red to our wedding and he told me, that brides only wear white when they are pure. Okay, for some background. Ryan and I started dating when I was 21 and he just turned 20. He was a virgin, oh no. He probably sucks in bed. And I only had one person who is my ex-boyfriend of four years throughout high school. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. She's had one boyfriend of four years. So she slept with one person. Hard. This caused a lot of problems. Honey, you should have never dated this man. A man who has a problem with you having had a boyfriend before him and slept with someone before him? Okay, this is where we need women to start paying more attention. I know we give them the benefit of the doubt all the time. Stop it! 
He showed you who he was right there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're like, yeah, but you know, like, you know, um, relationships are hard and you have to compromise and men will change. And, you know, maybe I'm being, I know, I know all the things that led her to just be like, well, it's not that big of a deal, but it's weird. This is where you get it. Six years later, he wants to wear red to your wedding because you're a whore. Because look at this, the first year of our relationship, we were almost, uh, we almost did not continue dating because of how insecure he felt. There we have it. Don't date insecure men. They're literally men who are insecure will ruin your life. They are the most dangerous men on the planet to women. If you date insecure men, they will ruin your life. They will sabotage your career. They will humble you. They will, I mean, and this is if, if like if you're, if they're jealous, because most insecure men are jealous. Um, if they have a lot of money and more successful you and they're insecure, they're just going to cheat on you all the time. And in general, insecure men usually lead, lead to abuse. Doesn't have to be physical, but um, exploiting you, wearing you down, emotionally abusing you through negging and all that stuff. Insecure men do that, okay? And yeah, narcissists and all that do that too. Narcissists are insecure. They just act. They just act like they're confident. They hate themselves. So it doesn't mean that, uh, I mean, people are allowed to have insecurities, but someone this insecure, but especially like men who have not worked on themselves, they're not confident, they're very insecure, a lot of things. You're gonna tiptoe around every single thing that he hates about himself. You're gonna tiptoe around it, tap dancing. It's exhausting. These men will uh, unalive you through your nervous system. After that first year, it never, it was never a problem again until now. It's always been a problem. He's just been pretending like he's okay with it because here we are. It was a problem. He's always thought you were a He just didn't say anything because he gets access to you in six years of all that stuff. Schmegs, free labor, emotional labor, therapy, probably living with you too. You're probably paying his rent, aren't you? I bet you're paying his bills too. He went to his mom about all this and she's on my side. I love this. I don't like this man. I don't know how he became this way. Maybe his dad, maybe mom babied him a little too much. Who knows? Dad is always, uh, it's not, never just blame it on the mom. Okay. We know toxic boy moms can parentify and date and worship their little prince sons, making him a nightmare, nightmare for the women. Um, but there's a dad in that picture too. Who's letting that happen? But I love this. It's very rare you see the mom take her side. I love it. More of this. Uh, <laughs> so two nights, two nights ago, his mom and I stood in our living room and argued about my Schmeg's life being shown in a dress. Okay, so can you imagine standing in your living room arguing with your soon-to-be husband and his mom? about him wanting to slut shame you. I can't believe anyone was even in this conversation. I can believe it, but I'm so glad that at least uh, the mom was on her side. His mom stated that he is no longer a virgin either. Yes, I love this. Little things like this give me little seeds of hope because this little inchmel is probably gonna die alone. But the mom is siding with the girl, with the woman, good for you. She said maybe he should wear red too. And he bursted out crying. Eh, like, this is literally a king baby. This is a king baby. Crying, throwing fits. Like the language you're using. Do you not see that you are already parenting this man? You're going to hate your life. Ryan is still stating that me wearing white would be deceiving all the guests. And that is different for guys. See, this is such BS. Deceiving? Really, right? Really, right, right. Every single person in that audience knows that that woman is not a virgin. I don't know if I've ever been to a wedding where the woman was a virgin. Have you? They're rare. Unless you are super religious, that's pretty common. And I'm not shaming people who wait at all. I'm just saying it's so not common now. And if nothing else, at least the couple is forking. So like the, the whole idea of wearing white to a wedding is like, Nobody b buys into it. It's literally just because it's like white. Why not? It's bread. It's what we do. So this man, this is how men lie. God, they don't care about deceiving people. You live. They literally, literally wants to humiliate her. He wants to get back at her 
for having slept with one more person than him. Which honestly, he probably has cheated on you anyway. So <laughs> this is this is a cake smash face, but with like schmedule stuff all over it. Okay, I hate you. You you're gonna want red. Maybe you should put a little scarlet letter on her. Maybe you should dunk her in a thing and see if she drowns. And then if she doesn't. Then, uh, oh, she's a witch. You don't marry her anyway. If she does, then you got a dead wife. I mean, you're going to unalive her with your insecurities anyway. So why not? Just put her in a dunking thing. This all has honestly made me question even marrying this man. This is the energy I love. I love that she wrote into Reddit because she knows the answer. And all you know, I mean, I'm, you know the comments are going to be like, Run! Run! I don't know if it's just because everything is so fresh, but I'm really disgusted by him, as you should be. He is not even religious. What? Okay, so he's definitely a red pillar. Red pill pipeline. He's on the red pill spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> so he's not even religious. So I know this is just about him still thinking about me losing my virginity at 18 before I even knew him. That's exactly what this is about. And the fact he just hates you. <laughs> Sorry, he does. I just need to rant to everyone about his how about his psycho this is. Okay. He is a psycho. Oh. I mean, not really. He's just a man. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is the United States. This sounds like another man in the USA to me, but um this is ridiculous. You will die in this relationship. Either you will physically die or you will feel dead inside. Because insecure men are the most exhausting people on the planet and they actually um, not only are parasites and humblers and, you know, um, financial abuser, hobo, schedule, gold digger, soul diggers. These are also the kind of men who will literally unalive you outright when they lose their job or one of those things. And they just take out the whole family because they feel so insecure. They can't face the world. And if they're going down, you're going down with them. And first it starts with a wet wedding dress, wet wedding dress. Then it goes to a paternity test. Then it goes to you not being able to work anymore. This man is controlling and he's policing you. In, in addition to hating you and all that other stuff. Do not date men who talk, who care about your body count. I'm telling you, that is such deep-rooted misogyny. They can't unlearn that. In a marriage with you unless they do some serious deconstruction which not a guy like that's not gonna do any man who thinks he has the right to tell you what color dress you should wear period but also based on having slept with one person hates you he wants to control you and honestly i'm worried about his mom too because when he is that can't find a woman to date him he's probably gonna move in with mommy and then he's probably gonna mom because these men Man, when they hate themselves, they want you to hate yourself as much as them. And if you don't, they're going to kill you. Be careful out there. This is not just a red flag. This is a like, you're going to die flag. Because they're in their 20s. Imagine this man in his 30s, 40s, 50s. Woo! Go fork a bunch of dudes. <laughs> Have some fun. And then maybe if you find someone worth it, date someone else. Or tap out entirely. Never, ever, ever, ever let a man's obsession with body count keep you from forking. Never. I literally write about forking tons of dudes for a living. And I figured, you know, no man would be evolved enough to handle that. Well, <laughs> here we are. A confident man can handle that. An insecure man? An insecure man, though? An insecure man, though? Will ruin your life. Danger!